What's up guys, John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Here we are in the Vegas mansion we are renting and we've had a pretty intense boot camp so far to say the least. So we're about a week in. Uh, one of the students took girls home seven nights or seven times out of six nights so far. And he came on the program, low lay count. Didn't really know what he was doing in terms of pulling. Um, we've got more students joining for the second weekend. But the students have been pulling like crazy all throughout the week. Guys are really destroying it. Everybody's kind of running on fumes, which is why we've been a little slow on the videos. We've been just training and training around the clock, uh, teaching guys auxiliary stuff, as well as all the core fundamentals. So before I continue, please like the video below and subscribe if you've not subscribed already to be alerted of my new videos five days per week, which we are gonna try to bump up to seven days per week. Okay, and I will change that in the banner. We're gonna pause the YouTube lives uh, for the time being just because there's so much stuff happening on the tour. So expect seven new videos each week and the YouTube live on Sundays is on hold until I announce it coming back, okay? All right, so let's go over the positives of gaming in Vegas. Okay, basically every night out of the week you have almost unlimited volume. Most of the venues you go into, there's specific venues that are the best on certain nights of the week and those are the ones we've been hitting. But no matter which venue you go into, usually there's virtually unlimited sets, meaning that you can keep approaching, keep approaching, and you're not gonna really run out of girls to talk to. The other big benefit is these venues are very big, so you can move girls from the dance floor to different bars, you can move them from one floor to another floor, you can move them from one bar to another bar. It's really easy to practice all the fundamentals of game, okay? Also, for daytime training, you have tons of people all over the strip, okay? Especially with spring break being this week and St. Patrick's Day, guys have just had unlimited amount of sets to practice, okay? And we're relentless with keeping guys in new interactions so they can keep hammering home the fundamentals, all right? We've had four coaches that have been directing guys what to do at each next step of the way, also pointing out their weak spots and eradicating them as quickly as possible. Another benefit is the clubs are open until four and then there's after hour clubs and then there's just people wandering around the casinos and the strip, so there's just virtually unlimited opportunities to game girls around the clock, okay? Even the strip clubs are open super late with tons of hot girls, so we've been teaching these guys stripper game, okay? Just due to the volume, like all around the city, you can find interactions any time of the day and in the casinos and in the strip and any of the clubs, okay? Due to these benefits, it's attracted a lot of aspiring seducers, aspiring pickup artists, Okay, it's kind of like the ultimate training ground, okay, but there are a whole bunch of cons that I will cover next. All right, so imagine the typical group of girls that's in Vegas, all right? They're there for a birthday party. They're there for a bachelorette party. They're there for a, a vacation or holiday. They're there centered around some event, okay? And they've come with their best friends, okay? Now, the reason that causes a problem is there's a lot more cock blocking, first of all, because the friends, like for instance, they don't want Sally to leave the bachelorette party with some stranger when they're all there to celebrate and have fun together. Okay, so they all wanna be like a unit for the whole night, so they're all cock blocking each other. Another problem is a lot of girls wanna have like the whole Vegas experience. So they wanna stay till 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. They wanna see the headline DJ. They wanna experience the night through the whole entire night, okay? And then leading into the third problem, since they a lot of them have spent the whole night there and some of them have been at pool parties during the day and have been partying consecutive nights, now they're too tired once it gets to be 3 or 4 a.m. Okay, so that can work against you with the club being open later and them insisting on staying for a long time. That can cause them to be too tired by the end, okay? Uh, number four is it's really hard to set up dates, okay? When you get phone numbers, you have two big problems. Lots of girls are flying home, like you did the next day. It's happening to tons of guys on this program already. Most of the phone numbers we're getting, we hit them up and then the girl's flying out that next morning or she's flying out like the next night or she's flying out in two days but they have a packed itinerary by the whole next day. The other part of it is girls that you sleep with, they're flying away and it's hard to build a rotation. All right, so it's hard to set up dates. Their itineraries are packed and then they're flying, okay? And the ones you close, most of them don't live here because people are here primarily on vacation. So that leads to, that was a big frustration I encountered when I lived in Las Vegas in 2013 is you meet all these cool girls, the ones you don't sleep with that had every intention of sleeping with you, a lot of them fly home or they're too busy to see you before they fly home. And then the, the ones that you do sleep with, you have this nice connection, maybe she's really hot, 
and then she's gone. She's like, oh, I'll see you in six months or something like that, right? And a lot of them will like continue to text you even though they've flown back to wherever they came from because they associate you with all the memories of Vegas, et cetera, et cetera. But that poses those problems for having a nice, solid rotation. Okay, what you end up having to do is meet local girls and hired gun type girls. You end up having to put strippers and bartenders and waitresses, for instance, on rotation. Another big con is that it's easy to get burnt out, okay? If you're clubbing, if you're going out during the daytime to do game, and then you're clubbing every night, back to back to back nights, within two to three to four days, it can really take its toll on you, okay? It's, it's easy to fall behind on hydration, it's easy to fall behind on eating good food, and since you're doing this round the clock training, it's good, but just in small doses, all right? So that's why we're doing, uh, we're doing a three day program here, seven day and a 10 day, and the guys are on the 10 day, some of them have had to take a night off and just like recharge, okay? Some of the coaches have had to take a night off and recharge. Another benefit is you have women from all over the world. You have all different types of ethnicities, all different types of body figures and stuff like that. You're not really limited to one specific culture and one specific demographic of girls. Okay, so you're getting exposure to not only girls from different cultures, but girls of all different shapes and sizes, ethnicities. Girls are also usually dressed to the nines. All right, so when you're like in a lobby, for instance, and you see all the girls going to line up to get in the club, lots of girls are wearing little tight outfits. They're wearing outfits that are very revealing, where they're showing lots of cleavage, where their hair's all done up. All right, so the girls are looking extra hot, okay? So in summary, this is a great place to train pickup. I think it's gonna be a staple area where we're training night game and day game. Okay, just because of the unlimited volume. In a lot of cities, when you're doing a seven day or 10 day program, only the weekends are good. Okay, and during the week, there's not really much happening in the nightlife. Even in cities like New York City, it's tough to find really good venues throughout the week on the off nights, okay? So this, in sum, is a perfect training ground and it might not be the best place to live long term due to all those negatives that I mentioned. And we also have been calibrating the students to adjust for the extra logistical problems and there's certain strategies to get around the extra cock blocking and the, the fear of, of leaving the strip with a stranger when, when they're visiting from out of town and different, so on and so forth, okay? Thank you so much for watching. The content will be ramping back up as we move into these next legs of the tour. And if anybody has any interest in joining the future dates, uh, we will be moving to LA next and then Miami and then New York City. Okay, in the next coming few weeks. Okay, so if you have any interest in joining those, please email me at johnanthonylifestyle at gmail.com. And make sure if you haven't already, subscribe below, and I will see you guys very soon on the next video. Take care.